It is snowing a bit. The fence at the corner is obscurely associated with being loved and doing the creosoting for a meagre sum, which I think is a lot, but is also a way of rounding into the street with your feeling of disappointment. Twigs scratch and knock on it, later redone in local colour. People are dragging back the sled. On the top of the snow is packed onto the muddy grass, oddly hard by all the feet. That is the efficiency of feet. People go down the mound. In the summer, when the snow is gone under the mound, I went there with David and ended up agreeing to be the one who was fucked, so long as I did not have to be the one who would fuck back. And I put myself on my hands and knees with my pants down, in front of him, facing away. I felt myself become a hole. I now think I emerged as a hole for him. I now emerge as a hole for you. We didn't get to do it. Our mothers came looking for us and stopped it even before fear did. But I suspected even then that he was frightened or just indifferently disgusted since otherwise surely he would have done it to me quicker since I think so. I mean, I mean that him fucking me would have come first but not me fucking him or our mothers. We should have made our mothers come too late. I heard that he told people about it and I was angry because I was ashamed at having again capitulated to secrecy. Secrecy was my enemy, like God engrossed in someone else, presumably a bullying idiot. In the garden, in the caravan, I tried pressing him to agree to one last fuck without touching with his father figure, who was a man I now give a cartoon nose, white skin, a beard, and idly established was 40. <laughs> I'm colouring in his hair, it's brown. It wasn't love, but it hurt and left me complex. I am a real hole for you, not a barely noticeable flimsy crack. David had a stupid way of laughing at a fucking ugly blush. Hasten infections. I swapped stickers with him and went on to exchange my motorbike for Christian's tank, an agreement which my father unhappily replied was a sort of extortion from infancy, but which made me sexually delight in having given away more than I got back for my delight is secret. I make my sister wear the fantasy lieutenant shirt with the felt tip arrows pinned to the collar to propitiate invasion, nylon for insignia. I lay under a cushion and asked her to jump on my head. She did. I like Roxette. I like Elite and cocoa butter on carrots. 10, 11, 10. The police smack the people in Marion Row, doing their jobs justice. At Millbank, the windows are booted down, voiding reinforcement. The government boys look set to make our solvency heroic. Their genitals in plaster deck the halls like power drills. You walk from the Strand to Nelson, left at the corner into Whitehall. The police are instructed to ingratiate camera persons by ignoring them. The technique is borrowed right from the top. Tolerance of poverty is its paradigm. You film them and they film you. Synergy by right. Because the universe has been outmaneuvered, individuals flourish. To put away your childish things, cut the arts first. Say in the prophylactic tone of establishment sarcasm, what chance for debt reduction against the sheer nobility of sentiment? If there will be a revolution in the UK, it will require the army. War will continue either way, sugared by truth or not. Love is not the unswerving professional bias of police dogs. It has to be made from scratch at the first indication of its possibility. The French have their avantage acquis, as we in turn have ours. A peine rentre les lampions, voilà que tombe les bonnes. If we don't fight now, the super rich will harden into sultans. Deeply and truly, fuck them. One way receptacles. At the corner of Parliament Square, the teenagers are standing on bus shelters. They are shouting for what they believe and feeling what you never will. Think of the anger you waste on gifts that might be used on money. Masturbation is not lovely, it's betrayal of the workers. You can see the predisposition to moderate success in politics, in the features of Aaron Porter, his flexible physiognomy. The thought of sex with him doesn't occur to the majority of his union delegates. That's what makes him perfect for redefining compromise. The wall of glass smashed in looks like what Wordsworth saw in the flint windbreaker lying on the empty floor to be a shard of broken glass shining like life, psychosis as the mirror of your dreams or justice. A cop with a freshly bandaged face is the punctum of the coverage. Her wide eyes make fear emblematic, 
glint on film intensely. At Sussex, they grab them and chuck them down the slope to be arrested. At the bottom of the slope, the women on minimum wage count the minutes of grind. I'm far from knowing what to do about any of this or after it, but so long as my blood is attached to the world I live for by its motion, I create this pledge in utter solemnity, I will never deny it, but burst to make its love for everyone shower from my heart. The West Irish had nothing but tiny scraps of land with a cabin, a pig and some potatoes. But Belfast and Dublin had England. All countries must work together toward a mutual resolution of currency imbalances or risk war, says the governor of the Bank of England, tasked with making the genital stage of Godzilla inevitable. <laughs> but he is right. It's the answer Jesus would give if pressed. The terminal balance will, get, will yet amount to minus sweet fuck all. Your job is to be at that orgy and to experience maximum anxiety, then write and see what happens. The wages are minute, second to none. It's not a joke to say, you learn from that, except you decline to. Synergized into a social fact, surplus grout of the myriad equivalents, foaming at the source, I is or am. The consummated Islamabad dispatches rolled into a prolegomenon to an epigram. Smoke that shit. Yes! Passion swings both ways, unfixed to be enlarged, hungry for the majority of the earth. Robert's penis is a surprise. In my tent, it is more pink than I am. I am more red or purple or brown. I had guessed, startling me, but I suck it anyway, not to go back. I think it was an excruciation to him and probably morally significant embarrassment because he never used it against me when I started punching his face in on the couch at my mother pissed herself on, get it out, why did I do that, smack me around with childish fists, deepening our wishes, blunting life in him and me, or smack that minuscule nameless boy who merely explained to me that my fantasy car for sale to him could be given wheels, when I want my fantasy car for sale to him to be flat and just glide. The Victorian English had their more innocent green zones in India from which to perorate on the superiority of peace for trade. Indiscreet to go slaughtering around all over the place like the Russians via the French, and in any case very likely more approximate to redemption. If sex is the price for that, be it what you may. After all, your sex will disappear anyway. Remembering nothing at all the right moments is difficult. So much of the rest of your life is exchanged for the lot. Since poverty porn is the price of its spiritual opposite, what you get up to, you pay for. Come later. Strikes are impossible and rest unless you are quarrying. Don't be a speck and froth through the roof. Proudhon concealed that inflation is theft by being too famous about property. You are keeping it real. You are keeping it real. According to the exotic definition of truth, adequatio re et intellectus, harmony in this world depends on you being no better than a load of fucking things. There is no end to it. Only things, only at the end, is the absolute ever what it is in truth. Get what out? Meanwhile, regular people, like us, get impatient, adopt silence as compensation for their virtue in waiting for it, which I cannot do, and so I'm angry to think about, though I'm not obliged to, be ang to think about it, and I'm not obliged to be angry either. Two, compassion should be balanced and sustainable, like growth, not more balanced or more sustainable. Public sector workers will not solve your problem because they are net tax consumers. What you need is for people without exposure to universalism to create your wealth. Wealth tastes better like that anyhow, less like Asian fusion. Three, this dream is finally to have no need of money of our own, like the government. But there is nothing to finalise. If you can't stymie their manipulations, you can settle for monitoring their trade surplus. But either way, they're all the same, they leave you in the end for a Stärker Dasein. A huge rope of blood, the width of a golf bag, falls out of his eye when you shoot into him. You are an heroic soldier. The kindness I have enjoyed has been more unusually beautiful from Hindus than from Christians, and weirder. The very idea of a virgin birth is a slander against my sex. And yours too, whatever that is, whoever you are beside me, our tribute to this world is this desire, nothing else. China is now a multilateral partner. That joke about the reference to the answer in the riddle in the reference to the answer to my life will be repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated without a pause until I and you all laugh. Bush says, three people were waterboarded and hold the zeros. Our text today is maintain physical integrity, but a hundred times funnier, and therefore 101 times funnier, billions of times funnier and hereafter infinitely more funny, because 
absolutely stupefying, at a compound rate too big to fail, only just not like this. There is something we need to do about everything, something it is always hard to be. Career poets are part of the problem, smearing up the polish, drying out the fire, chucking shit all over the place, not being party to the solution, banking on the nodding head, the reader, saying, yes, that's what it's like, so as not to know what it's for, Meaning is easier that way, gaped at through the defrosted back window of the Audi, hence the spring for a neck. We all know where that shit got us, being what we eat. The British have become snobs. They don't want to be security guards, always getting the night shifts at KFC, illegally married to sewage technicians, subject to racist abuse which intelligent politicians learn they must not be seen on camera to regard as bigotry. But the immigrants are real, because they do. The immigrants say, I am more realistic than you, but at least you listen. The EU ones are the mainstream, the non-EU, the avant-garde. <laughs> the real cause of massive growth in the size of this state, the UK, was fighting major wars. The majority public sector is our wages of justice for crushing the fascists. Kissing softly round the true whole cut out of sanity, the eyes I cross out in a fantasy shine right through. To burn out the profounder whole, resolve to being dead, to love complaining in your head, in your soul. Our meaning is not an indulgence, or capital all our blood, distorting like a seed to bud in vengeance. Our representatives will crush our sky like a genital piston. The cheese Lenin breaks his fist on your toothbrush, which I take for a sex toy. Friction conceptually bleeds into agony. The fire feeds its fiction. The faces are all safely tucked in balls of knotted dream. Now make the mystery face scream or get fucked. What do, in either case, they sing, only as they go, back to block up the thing, you go, mad, needing? The objects can be this, 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 or this, 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 this. Racine, the air, blackmail of Irides, this floor, a spat sun shot of testosterone, the open fridge, stars, seduction, cool moons of saliva, Norman Lamont, pick anything. FEMA, Visa, Pewter, AMC Regional Chairperson Dixon Mazimala. Not your average mind bleed, nothing but the slops. Run away into the pallid indefinite darkness to burn up in it. The limit of radiance is secrecy. But it is no secret that Anglo-Irish Bank wanted to pay out 40 million euros in bonuses, or that it is possible to be nobly savage and at the same time ignobly civil about it. The strategic advantage of the charmingly modernist inferno of chic modernist rubbish well-presented modernist rock and cracked west-facing modernist mud, benefiting from a vespertinal crepusculum perfect for masculine lamentation, preferred to female hysteria, is that it can be reconstituted by water, e.g. not otherwise than effortlessly. This red rock is a budget chicken breast. The sell-by date makes both risibly poisonous, but both are good for the margins. The whites of eyes of whites whose rights are well shine out their cries of help. These are the hardest passages to ride through, when there is nothing on the other side but the exhaustion of the claim to be there. Was I more beautiful as a child than I am now? <laughs> Will the sexual relationship between us, me now and me him, be, um, him then, be forever unequal? Me wanting him more than he wants me. That child, with a very probably more honorable claim to beauty, is he also my fucking father, fucking my mother, before I fucking existed? Do I want myself in the hope that I want something beautiful at all? If I don't want myself, is that freedom from what you fucking want? Do I too easily forget how much I used to want myself in the future? How gorgeous I was to me when I was imaginary? How sexy I was in my dreams before I existed? How much more fucked I was before I actually fucked? How much more fuckable right then, if not yet strictly fuckable? Yet really, how easy to fuck? 
But fuck how fucking fuckable I was before I fucking fucked up fucking by becoming fucking fucked. How hard the thought of barely having started living made me. I did desire myself then. I do, but not as someone who is less of anything, e.g. older, not invariably. I wanted myself with identical eyes and an asshole blissed out on the spring. Why is God into virgins? But now I look back. That boy doesn't arouse me very much in truth. I'd sooner drown in a bed forever with the women from my twenties, painting a sky of orgasms, acting insoluble. I remember the number I had beautiful sex with, but not their total number, or mine. Trotsky, on the publication by the Bolsheviks of the secret treaties between the Tsar and his Western allies, 22nd of November, 1917. Quote, secret diplomacy is a necessary tool for a property minority, which is compelled to deceive the majority in order to subject it to its interests. Imperialism, with its dark plans of conquest and its robber alliances and deals, developed the system of secret diplomacy to the highest level. The struggle against the imperialism, which is exhausting and destroying the people of Europe is at the same time a struggle against capitalist diplomacy, which has cause enough to fear the light of day. The Russian people and the people of Europe and the whole world should learn the documentary truth about the plans forged in secret by the financiers and industrialists together with their parliamentary and diplomatic agents. The people of Europe have paid for the right to this truth with countless sacrifices and with universal economic desolation." End quote. In the overture to absolute knowledge, we are all the phantasmagoric sexual molestation charge from Sweden. <laughs> Ordinary children grow up into the bankocracy the better to remain speculative in private. Nothing left behind. Sound more familiar. La Delhi Bongo, human loot. You become in secret my original accumulation of what you are forever lost for. Mine gets hard in my mouth. I will die if I cut it out. You are mine and become in the open my prodigal frittering of what you are merely left. What I am is narrowly left, gems to glue and shun in iron, to flurry on the air now breathed on very far away, but not your genitals or eyes, both shining in the same way from joy as you shut and shape me to infinity. O oh, love, I am forever not yet dying. This is my secret. I am the reason that is always left to say, the torment which is its necessity. Mine means that impossible clinging on. Men of Athens, in all things fiscal, you shall henceforth be too superstitious. What you are now is not lost, but forever reshelved. The workers, boom, who said what? See now that I, I am he. The memories that run ahead pronounce the prospect dead. You see that now. Behind whose cyst a sycophantic skeleton shoves its love up, an inarticulate cretin. Count me up and down, gently, too rapid. The dark is on secondment in our flesh burning at the limit of our light. The object revolves in the way on the road, the elastic snaps to drop the subject. Bouncing to the central reservation is a scream. You hear it, hearing it, sink in. Since the frame is loose, it buzzes, which is so grating on the ear, stitched up on rebooted muses, auscultated away in fear. There is no room alive inside my life for shit or milk to fill, but what you sabotage or hide in dreams, replied the window sill. However, that may be bullshit, not being maternal is free, flowing away to our credit jurisdiction of secrecy. As in reality, you trust the flea claws paradis fiscal inserts to make the children lust infinitely to age et al. But the US Treasury blocks the Libyan 30 billion, liberating the flesh from shocks to profit in palliation, so that there are both stops and starts computed again and again in homage to the sister arts of universal love and pain. Marx said that the Greeks are normal children, not that you can eat their fingers or love everything in the wrong way or rip off their infinity. Your infinity, meanwhile, is the irreversible backlash Hot milk can't be sucked too hard. Cold milk won't go down. But the rest, that will be forever. The final cut, ultimate budget, deceptively simple twists on the similes of eschatology, checkouts, etc. The last page of Aeschylus. Aslan's come, Aslan's come, Aslan's come, Aslan's come. TL61P, to a giant asshole with fire extinguishers for teeth. I fly from fads in attitudes to my eternal gratitude. Träger's kartoffel, human to the end. You are a dead end. You are a dead end, the Danny Boy incident. 
Bidding for dreams by stretching is natural. Cleaning your teeth is moral, too. Blinded by the bright idea you have to see your living through. In battered cod, the probing tongue is flattered at the oiled burn. What effort to survive beyond the filleting for me? It's the same with Palestinian corpses on BBC News. Don't worry too much if you don't get absolutely all the offer when you first start. The idea at the beginning is just to get some. You started it. Increasing as the screenings multiply. What's your fucking problem in the future that we do not know yet? The phantoms will be harnessed, made to slam the freezer door, which expertly connected to a dynamo concealed inside the fridge below will cause to rupture in a glow the infinite equivalent energy of a world unborn, measured in the potential of future Siberian oil, justifying the Japanese. Two, bidding for dreams is this natural, your teeth is moral too. Think errors in scanning. Under the fat head of the pillow of labour is bloody, bright idea. Squint at the national drug code sequestered in the universal product code. Nations of the mind retail the higher purposes of purchase. This zero compressed symbology. Ash in cod, necrotic. Everything that isn't on fire but rips. The imperial edition of the EAM. Thrown off for the screen. This the meaning multiplies into the dreamy dark. Exchanged via a GS1 econ message. In the that future we do not know the ghost is made to swing at all. But a mere GS1 EPC tag for global individual asset identifier. This, the freezer door, which expertly connected to a dynamo, life on Uxy, concealed inside the fridge below. That will cause the infinite, licking Laura's rigid guard bar, the energy, this of a thousand suns, measured in spitting milk, Polaris, strung out over Troy, Ohio. Bidding for natural errors under the UPC, nations of the mind, higher purchase, zero compressed ash in cod, isn't on fire, but rips the EAN for the screen in the dark exchange, GS1 econ message, in the future we know is made to swing a GS1 EPC tag for global individual asset identifier. This is the freezer door obviously expertly concealed below the infinite Laura's sheer drop. Thanks.